I always tell people you have to blend this thing seamlessly because you can blend your family, but sometimes you can tell, nah, that's not your kid because that's not your kid because the way you treat them. She made sure that we blended this thing where it was seamless. So if you were sitting in the house at the table, you didn't know, okay, you're trying to figure out which kid is, because I don't know, because if she's going to yell at one, she's yelling at all of them. Right. If she's giving one, she's giving all. I introduced our oldest as my stepdaughter, and she was like eight years old. I'll never forget this. And we got in the car, and we were driving, and she was like, Mom, I was like, yes. She said, can you do me a favor? When you introduce me, can you just introduce me as your daughter? and not, you know, your stepdaughter. And I said, that'll never happen again. And that's never happened again. And now people don't know that she's not my biological daughter. Because I was, I feel like she is because I was there when she was born, even though she didn't come out of me. But I feel like she's you can't mine. Convince, you can't convince can't, Portia this that is not she, my You know, so it's like we really have a tight bond with her being not my biological baby because I feel like she is. So I feel like it's important for the mom or the dad, whoever is, the baby is coming in. Take that word out. Because yes. you know all the negative stuff that comes along with that. Just take it out. And I'm telling you, kid, when you, I was talking to a gentleman at the store the other day, and it's just like, yeah, this is my stepson. I say, try just introducing him as and your just, son. And it hurts me to hear it, you know, so. But it's very important that we pay attention to what our kids are saying, you know, when it even comes to the family being blended together. And you want it to be seamless.